Hello Virgos! How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing great. What are you guys been up to? Hmm? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Welcome to your love reading, Virgo. Let's see what is that spirit has to say about your current situation in love. Spirit, please clear message for Virgo. Virgo is okay. Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. I have to say, Virgos, I had a lot of cards jumping when I was pre shuffling and meditating on your cards. And I am actually a bit concerned with you. Let's see. What is the message I had? Five of Wands and the Judgment to jumping earlier. I will, which makes me think just with the Six of Swords being the first one, the kicker for your reading that you were in a in a huge disagreement. You were in in a probably in a fight. Uh, someone is really trying to go to um, quieter, calmer waters here. Uh -huh. You're trying to find a better place, a peace of mind, apparently, with the judgment from a fight. That's what I'm having. Is that right? Here you go. Hmm? Give me the feedback. Let me see. What else, Spirit? What do we have for Virgos? Oh, wow. Three of Swords. I haven't seen this card for a while. Oh, no. Okay. All right. And, all right. And Eight of Cups. Yes. I see now why the cards were jumping, Virgo. Hmm. There was a huge fight, actually, probably a breakup. I'm not sure if it you or your love interest, it's leaving. It's trying to leave. It's feeling like the situation is too overwhelming. There's even a possibility of a third party involved, cheating, betrayal. Someone is really heartbroken. It was not a just a little fight. It seems like there has been a breakup. Is that right? Two cards of leaving. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, nine of swords. Oh my. Ten of cups. Okay. Oh, mm, intemperance, I see. All right, Virgo, um, especially this time, I know that this reading is actually for this week. Uh, spirits being very specific, and I don't think it's going to resonate with the collective of Virgos, but it's more specific message, really that um, someone is going through a breakup uh, or already did have a breakup, a recent one, um, and they're trying to make sense of all this. Uh, I wonder if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, Virgo. There's the Temperance card here. But from this breakup, though, you're going through a huge transformation. That's the good thing that it's saying in here. Uh, transmutation the temperance is the card that you know transforms metal to gold and um, you know um, it's 
just uh, basically a metaphor of what you're going through inside is from a you know going through a deep transformation from this breakup this heartbreak breaking and appears that to be more specific that's concerning you a lot either you or the other person Right, because the energy is fluid. It could be that uh, you are the one that moved on and has someone else already, and the other person is feeling very, very anxious, very angry, very is not sleeping well. It's really in hell. They're feeling like they're in hell. Uh, they're really trying to go to calmer waters or to a calm place but they keep going back and forth they try to calm down they know they need to move on but you know they keep coming back to think and ruminate that situation why did this happen i can't believe it i'm so heartbroken and the idea the reason why i think you already have someone else or the person you broke up or the other part or the other or your loved one, your ex, already have someone else is because of the Ten of Cups. Which indicates to me, though, Virgo, if you're the one that are heartbroken right now and the person had already moved on to a new person, I think it's fake, okay? Don't be too worried, okay? I know you're feeling, you're like, it's hurting. It's hurting so much, Virgo. I'm so sorry, Virgo. I don't like my viewers to be having to go through any of these. And if it's a cross watcher, I respect you a lot. Since you're really running the, uh, watching this video and you ran into this video, maybe the message is for you. And this is how your, you know, a Virgo did to you. I, I get it. You know, the energies is... Um, flows right we don't know it's fluid so we don't know who is who because it's a law of reading so it could be virgo heartbroken or you being heartbroken by a virgo right or both i mean any breakup honestly i think both suffers but i have to say here that both are heartbroken and this Ten of Cups, whoever is showing that great... Because Ten of Cups uh, in, a, in the traditional deck is a card of ultimate love, like the best of everything, like you're in the ultimate happiness with the rainbows and all the cups fulfilled uh, here. It's, it's a lot of candles in the dark. Meaning, I I like to read more on this deck, on the Game of Thrones deck, that this is more like basically a fake happiness, okay? So, if there was a broke up and the other person is, you know, showing off another one, wine, social media and all that, don't believe on that fake happiness, okay? It's probably a rebound. It's probably not even at all what is they are trying to portray and vice versa you could be trying to move your thoughts to a calmer water if it's you who are already in a new situation you know deep inside that's not as perfect as you're portraying right Virgo you know that you miss the other person you know but you know here's the thing um you are doing very well with this card. So I don't know if there's a Sagittarius involved, but Temperance is Sagittarius card. You're really going to, one of you guys, are real, or both, are really going to a inner search, self-development, spiritual growth. You're transforming. You're becoming golden. Okay, all this is making you a better person, you and your ex. Hmm. I'm sorry, this is a heavy reading, it's sad, but I see the temperance, temperance there is great, guys, it's a healing. 
this spirit is saying that is for the best, understands the pain. Oh, let's see here. What uh what is the advice for Virgo spirit? What is the advice for this week for Virgo or cross watchers or the viewer that's interested in this, in this situation that's resonating with this story? What do you want to tell them, spirit? What? How can I channel your message? Please show us. Please, spirit, spirit, show us. Uh, three of spears. Mm. All right, the tower, uh huh, with with the ten of cups and three of swords and the four of cups. Wow. Okay. The advice is to stay strong. Stay strong. The advice is that You are anxiously, anxiously waiting. Some of you, wh whoever's viewing this and this is resonating, I don't know if it's the Virgo or Virgo's love interest, but whoever's here in this situation waiting anxiously for a message from the other one, from the other party, you are like far from each other. Maybe you're even long distance. Maybe you took a little trip to try to forget the breakup or you're longing for a third party even. With, now we have two threes which emphasize a third party for sure. But I have to say that not for sure, right? It emphasizes for sure but doesn't necessarily need to be a third party. Okay, let me clarify. But um, Spirit is saying to stay strong because stay strong with this with this tower here because this tower is not the same tower as the traditional deck as you see on the traditional deck the tower is broken it's falling apart not in this one right you can see that it's standing is still besides all the problems that's happening the tower is there, strong, and can be rebuilt. It's not the end of the world. It's not a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of hurt, but the tower is there, nice and steady. And it's interesting that it's on the same column that you see the Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the tower. It could also mean another way that can resonate with others here is that the tree of sir of of swords uh in there the heartbroken was a heartbroken situation because when someone thought that everything was amazing their relationship was ab ab abrupt news that it actually wasn't right there was a tower moment too that ten of cups showing there was either a third part situation or there was a breakup okay so hmm the advice is that basically you are entertaining the idea you or the other person of contacting each other because right now you don't seem like you're talking to each other you're not but one is entertaining the idea to talk to the other they anxiously are waiting on the message but they're not receiving nobody's contacting each other and the chances are chances are that if you do contact or the other contact, it will be rejected. I'm sorry to deliver this news, but it does seem like this, the other part is not accepting offers right now. It's not a good time. The person is not a good time. doesn't mean that they never will. 
I would just uh, say that the devices don't do that now. Take a little time, more time. I, my spirit is saying that he understands how vulnerable, how anxious the situation is, how heartbroken it is. It's killing, like it's a horrible feeling. Okay, but it's not the best move. You'll be rejected, and it's just going to make you even more hurt. So, and the other person may even, like, you know, devalue you more. Or, so, Eight of Swords, again, wow, what a situation. Yeah, it's a lot of anxiety, it's a lot of uh, bondage. Nine of coins, absolutely, absolutely. Oh my god. Okay. And ace of swords. Here's the compliment of the advice is to instead of trying to reach out, you regain whoever's in the situation in this horrible state of mind here. feeling like a prisoner of your own thoughts, you know, ruminating back and forth. What should I do? And why didn't I act this way? I should have acted that way. Why? Why was my fault? No, was their fault? Oh my God, if only. Oh my God, what do they have that I don't have? If the case that the person's with another person, is there better than me? Are they happier with them than me? No. Spirit's saying, Ace of Swords, a new thought, a new beginning, a new you. Become a new you. Start thinking new thoughts about yourself. Be confident. Stand on your own. If you're single, you had to be single for this situation. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Here. On it. On it and enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. Look beautiful single. You have... All that it takes to look like Daenerys Targaryen right here. It's the Game of Thrones deck. Uh, the queen of... Uh, the mother of dragons, okay? She is amazing. She is so um, confident and beautiful. And it's not about the beauty, physical only. It's, it's by the uh, confidence, right? I don't know if you know, but the, one of the most confident, uh, one of the most attractive things in, in people, it's their confidence. So instead of trying to reach out and, you know, you're not going to gain much in this situation at this point. Um, no, free yourself from this thoughts of going back and forth, what I've done or what, blah, 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 oh my God. Move on, get over it on it cut it off cut that kind of feeling off okay another thing too this is for some of you the device the message for other other of you here if you're in still in that situation to have a breakup but it's very different so it will be very very specific you may hear a truth you may hear from someone spirit is just telling me that someone needs this message right now. You may hear that this person, your ex, was seeing someone else, but they're single again. It did not work out with them. It was a fake happiness. So if your ex was re recently seeing someone else, they're going through a lot. They're actually waiting for you, but again, it's still... They're waiting for you. They should just reach out as well, right? I wouldn't do. I don't feel like spirits advising you to reach out because of this, but they may be scared that you actually reject them. Well, if they are the ones that leave you for someone else, well, they should, right? Leave them being that way. Don't worry about it because when they get enough, enough courage, you know. If you know, if they really, really want, they will reach out no matter what. They're not going to be afraid to be rejected, right? So what? If, if they're in fault through this breakup, they hurt you a lot. Anyways, 
there is that's basically what the spirit's saying here is that um you may hear a truth i mean a new beginning they may they may reach you out for a new beginning if it, uh, that's what spirit's saying you don't go and reach them out right now because they probably will reach you out even though they're afraid of rejection if the case is that they already broke up with the other person they were seeing. So again, this is very specific. And I have to do the disclaimer here, right? You know that I'm not responsible for the decisions you make on your life. You have free will. This is for entertainment only. And I am giving a disclaimer. I'm not telling you to do anything. These are just the cards and the way I'm reading it. You do you. <laughs> Okay, you do you, you decide your life, free will, and things can change, it's just a possible outcome, and there's a possibility that I may be wrong, that I may be having an off day and reading this wrong, okay, so please, and yeah, there you go, I'm gonna leave it in here today, and I really wish you well, I'm so, so sorry you're going through a heartbreak like this a heart you know pain it's uh, it's painful but from the pain comes great healing what doesn't kill you make it stronger and you can have amazing feel amazing beautiful standing on your own here feeling great looking better than ever and feeling better than ever and accomplish better than ever okay Thank you so much for watching. I hope I could help. And have a great day, Virgo. Bye.